there is a reason that I engage in the work that I do. Oprah defined philanthropy as giving back what has been given to you. So what is it that I would do for free? A few months after my 16th birthday, I lost half the blood in my body on the delivery room floor. I nearly lost my life again when my second child was born. And tragically, this is not all that surprising where I'm from. Nationwide, black women die due to childbirth related causes at a rate of three to one compared to white women. In Iowa, where I spent all of my life until I moved to DC, the rate is six to one. At that young age, I didn't have much agency or much time to invest in considering the larger context in which my children had nearly grown up motherless. I was focused on other things, aging out of foster care as a mother of two, surviving and overcoming poverty, working and attending college. In undergrad, I read a book called Medical Apartheid that illustrated the mortality gap. And it was then that I realized I wasn't alone. There is so much more work to be done to address the inequities that are literally killing us. Years later, a friend of mine posted on social media about the near death of Serena Williams and Beyonce Carter. Local women, black Iowans, professionals, professors swarmed the comments section. If Beyonce isn't safe, none of us are safe. We formed a group of volunteers, had a few meetings and planned our work. Our first events were story gathering sessions and trainings focused on self advocacy so that women knew what to expect and how to speak up on their own behalf in the event no one else would or could. Vice News came to Iowa to follow our progress. Our story became a podcast episode and multiple news articles. We sent requests to presidential candidates for their plans to address black maternal mortality and several responded with their thoughts. We were invited to a presidential forum in our state capitol to hear from the candidates in person. I asked one hopeful for his plans and he began to describe the eating habits and the low incomes and the medical avoidance of black people. And I stopped him and I said, no, no, sir. These numbers control for income. They control for socioeconomic status. Please help me understand what it is you are prepared to do to save our lives. After a conversation with Alexander Yang, he brought the issue to the nationally televised presidential debate stage for the first time in US history. His own wife had experienced a harrowing childbirth experience, so it was personal for him. We hosted our first conference in 2020 and our keynote speaker was Loretta Ross, author of Medical Apartheid, the book that had let me know in undergrad that I wasn't alone. Philanthropy is giving back what has been given to you. I was given a second and a third chance at life. This is the work that I would do for nothing because I have already been paid in full. I am grateful to be able to join all of you in Rotary where we employ our passions in the service of others. Thank you.